Australian dairy farmers will get a half a billion dollar lifeline after the Agricultural Minister unveiled a support package this morning. It was a rare bipartisan moment of the election campaign, which has again been dominated by a fight over spending priorities. In Tigerland, sport, culture and politics collide. All of us are part of the most successful multicultural society in the world. Alongside the AFL's multicultural ambassador, Basha Hooli... What's so important is uh, his leadership. The Prime Minister promoted a $600,000 commitment in the Richmond Stars leadership program. In Tamworth, his agriculture minister was making a $600 million commitment to the dairy industry. We have a crisis in the dairy industry. Farmers caught up in the Murray Goulburn Fonterra price collapse will have access to concessional loans and fortnightly welfare payments. In the past, the processes have been very slow. These people need help now. How, how long is this going to take? The minister says it's what farmers wanted. So they can keep the walls on the door and keep some dignity in their house. After his daily doorstop in Canberra, this minister would be wishing he could eat his words. Uh, Bill Shorten uh, is uh, very caring and very much in touch. And Bill Shorten every single day is promoting our national economic plan for jobs and growth. Trouble is, his leader is Malcolm Turnbull. I guess Senator Cormann's officially terminated Mr Turnbull's scare campaign. The coalition turned the blowtorch to Labor's policy costings, claiming a $67 billion black hole. Labor rejects that figure but makes no apologies for its spending priorities. Do not fall for the big lie of this election. Mr Turnbull is spending as much, if not more money than Labor, but he's just not spending it on Australians. Whichever way you look at it, there is a black hole. Now, he can solve the mystery. It's entirely in his hands. He should spell it out. The coalition may have overreached with its $67 billion figure. At least half of that is in dispute. But it did shift the focus to the economy. And economic management is central to the coalition's brand recognition in this campaign. And one of Hollywood's biggest brands is continuing to fire shots at Barnaby Joyce over the now infamous pistol and boo saga. Barnaby Jones. Yeah. <laughs> He looks somehow like inbred with a tomato. <laughs> I'm turning to Johnny Depp's Hannibal Lecter. I'm inside his head. Long after I've forgotten about Mr Depp, he's remembering me. Proving all publicity is good publicity. Jane Norman, ABC News, Canberra.